Welcome back to the Crucible Sport and Social Club for the second semi-final here of this latest Town Shootout Series event. What a performance that was from John McAllister. But who will he play in his semi-final? Let's find out with quarter-final number two and introduce our next player. What a performance from this guy this afternoon. Edging through once more this popular Scotland international told me he was feeling a little bit jaded so let's find out what he's got left in the tank tonight as we welcome back Mad Mac, Martin McIntosh And his opponent, one of the most explosive players around. World champion in 2016. He is lightning. He's Sean Chipperfield. So it's Martin McIntosh has won the leg. He's going to break first. An underdog, according to the local bookmaker, <laughs> against Sean Chipperfield. It's probably going to be, especially after. Well, I mean, actually, Sean Chipperfield um, could have done an, could have played an awful lot better. But from, from what, from how I've seen him, how he is at his best, former world champion, he's definitely a favourite for this match. Um, but Martin very experienced in this and seems to be getting better and better every time I see him he seems to play a little bit better on TV yeah I mentioned in the intros there Dan that he was feeling a little bit jaded I just had a chat with him before and he said he was just starting to feel the effects of a long day he was, he was woken up he said very early this morning and he didn't get back to sleep and he just hopes that he, uh, he's got the stamina to, to get through tonight wasn't great this afternoon could have been either way really that match couldn't it but he's here and he has a chance yeah, you, well, you, you'd, you'd hope that adrenaline gets you through. I mean, you know, you're on TV in an event like this. You'd hope that you'd hope that tiredness goes out the window when you get to the quarter-final stage. So he made a good start here. He's got a good angle now, just to come up table naturally towards the centre of the table. For a break and finish first up yeah that'll help <coughs> best way to counter fatigue is to uh, rattle some frames off yeah and that he's done one nil martin mcintosh what a start Well, we discussed the trousers this afternoon, and the uh, he's got a good collection of lively trousers. He doesn't like those, he said. He ordered them online, and they weren't what he expected. I'm not sure what he expected, like. No. <laughs> it looks like they've just we said it looks like they've just had some stuff left over and chucked it all together, and that's what's that's what's come out. But he eats to their own. Love it or hate it. So one 0 Macintosh. And that's a that's a dry break, is it? No, he's made a yellow. Oh, he made a yellow, I do beg just. your pardon. So an opportunity here. The winner of this plays John McAllister, who won quarter final one. Let's hear from him. He's with our man Simon Webb. Performance. Yeah, thanks Simon. Uh, yeah, just luckily the breaks went my way early and then 
in the match, so took a few chances and then, uh, yeah, luckily Jordan missed in a couple of frames, which was uh, yeah, pivotal in the end. What are you thinking in uh, frame one when Jordan makes, what, about a 25 second breaking clearance? It must be sort of thinking, what, what have I got going on here? Yeah, here we go again, basically. So, obviously, with a lot of my matches recently, there's been quite a few dishes uh, for and against. So, just, um, yeah, looking more break held up a little bit as well, and then I was able to punish him also. We've just been talking off air in the break there about the fact that players seem to, to buzz against you, but then that seems to kick you on and you seem to buzz against them. You, you, you seem to end up in a lot of matches like that. Yeah, well, when people are playing very well against you, you've got to uh, just to try and hold on, really. And then hopefully halfway through the game, it try and swings in your direction. Um, luckily for me, it did in that game. But yeah, you don't want it to go like that every match. Obviously, uh, first taste of the shootout. You must be, look like you're really loving it out there. Yeah, it's different. Um, it's tough to get used to, really. But um, yeah, obviously, if I keep on winning, I'll enjoy it even more. But yeah, really happy to be involved in this environment. And uh, yeah, hopefully, keep kicking on. Well, best of luck in the uh, semi finals. Can't wait to see you in action again. Cheers, Simon. Thanks, mate. Uh, thank you, Simon. That's uh, our reporter, Simon Webb, speaking to the winner of quarter final one, John McAllister, who awaits the winner of this one. Well, in the meantime, he is missing absolute carnage here from, from Sean Chipperfield. I mean, he's doing the sort of stuff that I do when I'm practising, just messing around. It, this is ridiculous. Absolutely. This is why he's in the shootout. And this is tough. I reckon he'll probably, he'll probably just double it. I, I don't even know what he's going to do anymore. What would you play? You can't take your eyes off him. I'd play the cup, personally. There we go. Absolutely ridiculous. I don't think I've put it, though. <laughs> That's mental. And he gets the crowd involved. What a response. That is mental. Watch that frame back. He was never in position once. He played five bad shots. But he managed to make a ball on all of them. <laughs> and he somehow cleared up. Brilliant atmosphere tonight. That's berserk. Here in Newbury. We'll follow that, Martin. I probably will. Yep. Just like the first match, a breaking dish each to start up. And uh, who's the bet against there being a third one? Because these have come out really nice. Oh, that's a beautiful spread. Very delicately played, but, but very well played. Early days tonight, well, what a what a standard, or well, what a hiking standard from, it's been brilliant. from the afternoon session. It's been brilliant. I hope they can keep this up. You won't want to flick channels if they do. Having to stretch, but shouldn't be an issue. Break dish, break dish. Three in a row. Wonderful. Doesn't look too pleased about it, does he? I think Sean was two and up. I don't think he was lying when he said he was feeling knackered. <laughs> He's not lying, is he? <laughs> Someone get him a Red Bull. Someone's just told him the score. He's perked up. This has been brilliant so far. Can you follow it, Sean? Huge break again. Hasn't connected as well. That's a bad break, that. Oh, well, that's that's down. Believe it. No, but why? Right. So he loses the fray. No. Black was in, so he's going to win the frame. White followed it in, he loses the frame. That's extraordinary. Black in, celebrates it. Oh no, where's the white going? Oh, you are kidding me. I don't believe it. You are kidding me. Well, <laughs> that's the first one of them we've seen. We've seen a couple of golden breaks. I mean, what's that? What do you call that? That's never happened before. 
Not in this format. What do you call it? Golden Duck. I don't know. Golden Duck. It is a Golden Duck. <laughs> oh, wow. It's got the rotten egg. Martin, look, looks like he's 3-1 down. Martin, no one's told Martin he's won the frame. 3-1. Well, hasn't made a mistake. He's 3-1 down. Black's not far off. Oh, Black's not far off. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. He's made a ball. He's at the table. That'll just, that'll just fire Sean up even more. Like I mean, are we getting, even 10 He might get fired yet? up, but he might be 4-1 down when he's fired up. <laughs> We're not even ten minutes in yet. This is uh, this is a remarkable match. This already. What a shot that is! <laughs> Awkward queuing, bridging over, and he's played a shot like that. He deserved a lot better there. Deserved an awful lot better. Martin McIntosh might want to might want to turn up to to every tournament feeling a bit under the weather. <laughs> Time's running out. Six, five. Yeah, he didn't know what to play here. In the end, he's going to have a nothing shot. Yeah, he has managed to put the yellow a little bit, sort of, a little bit awkward over the left-hand side of the table, but it's shown in full flow, which he is now. Even that there, he's made that look effortless. It's actually a really, really well-controlled shot. See how fired up he is. Let's see what he's going to play here. Is he going to play the yellow down the cushion now? I think it's on. He can play in the middle, obviously, but it's just very acute. And if he leaves it to his last ball, he's going to need to get on the black. So he's going to need to do himself an angle. It's going to be tricky, but I'm sure. I'm sure also, there's fine. a chance he could flick the black out of position. Yeah, so just, I mean, doesn't want to end up having to leave himself a long black into the corner pocket. He needs the right angle here, and he's got it, that's perfect. Perfect, so just drop this in, it's be 3 2. Oh, he's oh, missed it. He's missed it. He's missed it, and he's left them begging. He's left absolute sitters. Well, I'm not sure he recovers from that. Not just in this frame, in this match. Uh, Martin's playing this first. This is the hardest shot of the visit. But he played it in a way that he would have uh, he would have covered the yellow had he missed. Yeah, smart play from Martin. I think maybe take the one in the middle of the table now, drift back up table. I'll tell, I'll tell you for Sean's thoughts now, because for a split second he was 2-2 until that Y went in. Yeah, I think you'd want it censored. <laughs> After what the black time and white is it? going in together. Another 18 minutes, <laughs> and then we're at, we're at nine o'clock. Well, he will not understand how on earth he is 4 1 down. On a sixpence, but really, you know, what has Martin done wrong? He's played brilliant. He's played fantastic. It's going to be 4 1. Three in a row. Just the 12 minutes gone for the five frames of pull. I mean, setting them up is two and a half minutes of that. Well, we raced through the first match in 20 minutes or so, didn't we? Less, yeah, just less. I would suggest there might be a bit of power in this break. Uh, the white's jumping up. Where's the black gone? 
Where's the white gone? Oh, the white's gone where it went last time. Well, you could tell he was angry. He lost a bit of focus on that. He didn't hit it anywhere near where he wanted to. Oh, he's gone from bad to worse. He didn't hit him as good as before. Still hit him well, but um, not the easiest to finish is here for Martin, but he's got that free shot where he can develop his problem areas and, and that's what he's done there. He's opened them up a little bit. Now he's going to have a study, see what he thinks he can do. Uh, argument for both uh, reds or yellows here, actually. Already one frame away, Martin McIntosh, from a place in the semi-finals against John McAllister. Now, I think that's a bit unlucky there. He's got into it. I don't think the yellow passes the red. He's playing it as if he does. Is he just trying to cover a pocket? He must be. Well, he hasn't managed it. It was obviously tight. He obviously thought it went, but there's no way he had a full pocket there. Ironically, Sean has got so much time to get back into this match. Yeah. He's got 16 minutes. Well, when a frame ends off the break, that's that's saving you four, four or five minutes, isn't it? Yeah. It's just oh, it's just overhit that, as uh, underhit that. He can play this into the. I don't know if he's not. Has he come far enough? Is he going to have to play a cross double? Oh, that's a great shot. shot. Played it with lots and lots of run inside. This isn't easy. No. Not when you're staring down the barrel of defeat either. Mm. Brilliant. 4 2. So, last 15 minutes, shot clock reduces to 15. Straighten off the white, straighten off, and Sean's back at the table. Some pace. Sean's back at the table. I don't see many problems here as well. I think he'll use his free, he'll use his free visit to develop the only bad red on the table, and then it couldn't be much nicer. He's actually left himself a bit of a tricky plan here, but he's only got six seconds left. Yeah, he needs to be careful. The crowd helped him out with the count there. Yeah, the shot clock's now changed to 15 seconds per shot, so easy to get caught out from that when you're in the rhythm of playing 30 seconds. Dreaded middle pocket that let him down a couple of frames ago. We see this one go all the way. I don't. I think. A, I think a shootout's impossible. We still haven't had one. Just <laughs> threatened a few mm. times today. Speaking of the shot clock, was it John Joe Sharkey who got caught out this afternoon? I, I spoke to him actually at the bar, and he just said, "I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know." No. He yeah, only he called in late. He said, "I just heard a noise, so I threw my cue." <laughs> <laughs> And he also didn't know that the uh, black off the break was lost of frame no, either. Wasn't it? Well, win winning the frame for Jordan. It's beautifully played. In no time at all, this is going to go 4-3 with Sean to break. I'm getting nightmares. This is actually like the last time that I played him. I'm getting flashbacks. Great reply from 4-1 down. Shouldn't have been 4-1 down. 13 minutes. You should now have made it a race three. to seven. Yeah, well, there's time. 
I think maybe that's what we should do. Just uh, just just make it a 30 minute match. Whatever the score is after 30 minutes, there we go. This could be 7-5. Now then, Sean. Not a great break again. I don't think he's got anything down. Is the last yellow rolling going to go? It's not. But, unlike the rest of the match, it's a bit of a messy table. Yeah, there's a bit of cannoning that needs to go on in the centre of that bunch. Yeah, and that's not come out great either, I think, because the red's now sort of block in the pocket for the yellow in the bottom right hand corner and more importantly he hasn't got a yellow to go at now he's, m he's maybe got I think his only options maybe a, a double or a yeah, he just had to rush something off there this is where Sean's got to decide does he does he does he push the boat out go game does he fully take control of the bottom right hand corner pocket and it's not his style, is it? Oh, no chance of him doing that. What am I talking about? Needs to get a move on. <laughs> I thought he was going to forget. I think he plays so quickly he forgets that there's a shot clock. True. Not often a factor. <laughs> no. He doesn't want to flick this yellow on the way up. No, he, yeah, has. He, he has. Oh, that's fortunate. He didn't mean that at all. Yeah. Great spot that though. But this, uh, <laughs> well, this is going to be a better one. I don't know how he's going to get on this red into this. I'm just going to focus on the top, guessing. avoid the enough and hope for the bell, he's just left it long. That just pure, pure confidence in his own ability. Needs to control the cue ball though. And he's missed the pot. A very tough pot. Mm. Now he could be in trouble. I wonder where, I wonder where he's going to be after this. No prizes. What an effort. <laughs> it's a great effort. <laughs> almost almost wrecked the tournament. And taking a hole out of the cloth, but it's a great effort. I hope the table's all right when he dug down on that. Well, we won't have time to recloth it. I guess it's like properly playing in your club. You try and keep the ball away from where the cigarette burn is on the cloth. Yeah. No, what's he done? Oh, no. What has he done? Oh, no. Oh, Martin. Oh, he can't believe it. Martin McIntosh, what have you done? Oh, my word. I cannot believe what I've just seen. And if Sean now clears for to send us into a decider, how does Martin get over that? Oh, there's a bit of a way oh, to go. I'm not sure he does. He'd like to have been a little bit closer to this red, but... It's there. He's nine, he's nine. I've made it. It's a great shot from Sean. So we are going 4-4. From 1-4 to 4-4 in no time. Martin McIntosh will be beating himself up. He's having a little look at that. There is a bit of damage on the cloth. He says, nah, it's all right, he said. I've played on worse. You should see my local table. So 1-4 to 4-4, Mad Mac will be Mad Mac. He will be mad. He'll be mad, mad, Mad Mac. After right. that unforced error. I don't think anybody's going to be guessing as to why Sean Chipperfield's called the Lightning. Yeah, so good. So here we go. First decider of the day. First decider of the day, the Blackpool's travelling, but nowhere near a pocket. 
He has made a ball, and they're on. So the first opportunity is to Mad Mac. Let's yeah, see how mad first. he is. He's, he's in first. They're on. That the Reds are all, nothing needs to be dislodged or moved or. You know, it's, it's not a really easy finish, but it's it, they're all there. What have you got? And I guess one thing, Dan, when you do make a sloppy, careless, unforced ever like that, you don't do it again very soon because no. you're on your guard. That's right. I mean, you might miss, you might play a bad shot, but you don't... You don't do anything like that again no, for, well, for a long time. He needs to be time. careful that. He's not going to foul that red, is he? The shirt so on, close. on the red, yeah, he was... He was so close. Hanging over a little bit. Yeah, but our referee, Donna Evans, she was right there. He'd have been on it. Well, if he holds himself together after seeing that lead whittled away, he deserves his place in the semis. You have to take your hat off to him if he clears these from here. No finish is easy in a deciding frame. Well, he just got into that a bit more than he uh, anticipated. He's yeah. fine, though. He's fine. Match of the tournament, this. It's been brilliant. I'd like to have been straighter on this. Yeah, work to do. Three balls away, but three, three big balls. If he was straighter on this, he'd just, he'd just stun the cue ball and then he'd play the red top right and, and screw over for the black into the left middle. As it is, he's had to play that, but that was a fantastic shot. He's played that absolutely brilliantly. And I think the black goes left middle. If the black it goes does. left middle, this is over. So just a stun. This is over. A straightforward black and a brilliant victory for Martin McIntosh. Wow, what a match. What a match from both players here. Hats off, Martin McIntosh. Wonderful, wonderful match. And full credit. Look what it means to Martin McIntosh. Mad Mac had to really hold himself together. They're inspecting the table. I think there's a problem there, but we're just going to have to carry on. It's Mad Mac through Martin McIntosh, 5-4. He's beaten Sean Chipperfield and he will play John McAllister for a place in the final. Quarter-final three is Craig Lakin, Liam Bullock and that's next.